right. Uh, Sergeant Major Eva Commons, Command Sergeant Major for HHBN, 82nd Airborne Division. We're here for uh, swift response, part of the Defender Europe uh, exercise here in Europe. We're currently in Romania right now. So we went through we went through a uh, series of training up events before coming here, rehearsals and exercises uh, prior to coming here to set up uh, this the large scale exercise. Then we uh, all birded an, uh, loaded an aircraft, flew over here, we dropped off some of our soldiers in Estonia. The rest of us flew here to Romania. Once we got on the ground, we started setting up our uh, talk here, our tactical command center here. In Romania, and we've been, uh, you know, exercising our command systems and our communication nodes with our international partners here since since we got here on day two. Right. So anybody that was coming from the 82nd to participate in this exercise was going to be double vaccinated plus 14 days to ensure that we were being safe. One with each other, two with our international partners, and three just you know with uh, the world and not spreading COVID anywhere unnecessarily doing everything that we can to keep it from spreading and keep ourselves safe. Uh, we've done several joint forcible entries where we've had large number of international um, task force jump into various locations to rehearse if we needed to do this against an aggressor. So we've had uh, our third brigade combat team with uh, several international partners jump in Estonia and the other day, we, with several of our international partners, jumped into a drop zone here in Romania. So it's one is very eye-opening. It's very um, interesting and uh, useful to see how different organizations do things differently and to compare the way we do things in the United States Army versus um, Romanian or Estonian or Italian uh, military. So it's very nice to be able to compare and get share ideas and share um, how, how to accomplish missions. And also it's great to be able to know that as we do these exercises, if we do need to do this in real life, we're, we know we're fully capable of doing it because we've done it so many times over and over again during exercises. It'll be no different if we have to do it for real. So we take the, our NATO agreements very se seriously and we know that if we need help, our NATO partners will be there to help us. And if they need help, we're gonna go and help our NATO partners. So doing these exercises ensure that if that day does come, that we can uh, work together, we can communicate, we, can, we have a good understanding of each other's way of doing things and what each other can bring, which each of us can bring to the table. So how we can best either defeat an aggressor or protect uh, a nation against a threat if we have to. Um, so for me personally, it was a great experience to interact with all of our different LNOs from all of the different countries and to speak with them and have uh, you know, conversations with them and get to know them. Um, there's so many different cultures in the world and being in the army, getting to travel, you get to see it a little bit, but you really don't experience it until you sit down with, the, with other people and like I said, share each other's experiences and talk. So I'm very glad to have gotten to do that a lot during this trip with the, with the LNOs from several different nations here. So, so us being set up here uh, helped us to be able to provide a command and control element of the various other entities that we have task organized under us and we are centrally located or in you know in a prime position to to enable us to to do that from from Romania while we have other forces fighting notionally in Estonia um, we could really do this in any location that is ideal for um, for us to be able to set up our communications but this location specifically for this exercise we were jumping, uh, our ACP was going to jump into Romania, into Bobak drop zone. So we were, uh, we set up our hard site building here at MK Air Base. So the 82nd is the only division size element that the Army has that can jump into a fight, uh, jump into a drop zone anywhere in the world. Uh, we can be wheels up from Fort Bragg in 18 hours with a package ready to go to land somewhere and engage whoever we need to. So 82nd does a swift response exercise every year to 
uh, continue to refine that capability. If we're jumping in somewhere overseas, we're most likely going to have our nation, our uh, international partners with us. We had five different countries dropping out of airplanes yesterday on one drop zone. So again, just doing this keeps us uh, ready for if we need to do it for real, helps us to hone our skills of you know, jumping and uh, leading an organization in combat if necessary. And like I said, it just helps always to refine and um, enhance our international relations with our NATO partners.